Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 to 12. Seeing the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and when he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when others revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Jesus, the Blessed One He saved others, but He can't save Himself. Matthew 27, 42 
when the scoffers were mocking Christ with these words during his crucifixion, they weren't just questioning his divine power. They were also questioning the truthfulness of his message and ministry. For them, Jesus Christ was a fraud. He was a fake self-help guru who preached a dogma that he claimed could save others, but could not save himself. Their objection seemed to make sense. Why would anyone listen to Jesus and obey his commands if his message and ideas led him to the cross? How could anyone embrace the Christian faith if it brings with it suffering and hardships in life? But Jesus never claimed that our obedience to him would exempt us from all worldly suffering. Jesus Christ was not a fraud. His suffering on the cross did not contradict his message of hope. He was fulfilling and demonstrating his gospel message through his death. On that cross, despite his great suffering, Jesus Christ was blessed. He exercised mercy in atoning for the sins of many. He demonstrated purity by focusing on the mission his Father gave him. He became a peacemaker by reconciling us with our Creator. And he was persecuted for righteousness because he died faultless and without sin. Prayer Lord Jesus, Your name is above all names. We praise and thank you, O Blessed One. Strengthen us when we experience suffering. Help us reflect your character. In Jesus' name, amen.